This is Stephanie from StatisticsHowTo.com. In this video, I'll be going over the T-score formula. I'll also show you an example of how to use the formula to solve a probability question. The T-score formula is very similar to a Z-score, only you'll want to use it under two conditions. One is if you don't know the population standard deviation, that's sigma. The z-score only works if you know sigma, so you might have to use the t-score. And the second is if you have a very small sample. That's about under 30. Here's our t-score formula. We've got x bar. That's the sample mean. Mu sub zero. That's the population mean. We have S. This is our sample standard deviation. And finally, we have M, which is our sample size. Now, sometimes you might see the formula written as just having the S under here. In other words, it looks like this. That happens when you have a sample size of 1, the square root of n turns into square root of 1, which is just 1. So that's why you see the formula written like this. But you can always use this version of the formula. I've got a question here. A law school claims its graduates earn an average of $300 an hour. We've got a sample of 15 graduates with a mean salary of $280. Standard deviation is given as 50. And we want to know the probability the mean salary of graduates will be no more than $280. I like to start off just by drawing a diagram of what we're looking for. We've got a mean of $300 an hour. Here's our mean of $300. We've got a sample of 15. And their mean salary is $280, so it's going to be just below here. So we're looking for this chunk in the left tail. That's going to come in handy when we use the calculator in a minute. But let's go back to our t-score formula. We have t equals x bar minus mu of 0 all over s divided by the square root of n. Oh, x bar is our sample mean. Our sample has a mean salary of $280. So that's our x bar. We're going to subtract the population mean, which is given in the question as 300. Uh, divide by s, the sample standard deviation. Oh, that was 50. And we're going to divide by the square root of 15. That's the number of graduates in the sample. And I'm going to figure this out on a calculator off to the side. I get negative 1.549. So this is my t-score. But the question isn't asking for the t-score, it's asking for the probability. In other words, what is this area here? At this point, you have a couple of options. You can use the TI-83. I'm going to show you this online calculator. You can find a link to this calculator in the description field below. I'm just going to plug in my information. Degrees of freedom, that's just my sample size of 15 minus 1. Always subtract 1 to get the degrees of freedom. My t-value from my calculation was negative 1.549. And I'm going to press this top arrow to find the probability. But before I do, I need to select the left hand tail. That was the probability I was looking for, the area in the left tail. And here's my probability, 0 0.0718. As a percentage, that's going to be 7.18%. So the probability of the mean salary of graduates will be no more than $280 is 7.18%. That's an overview of the T-score formula. Check us out at statistics.howto.com for more videos and articles on everything elementary statistics.